In search of the finest Earl Grey tea, green drinks, rose-scented laundry detergent, plush robes, and the books that I'm currently reading, welcome to Connoisseur Reviews. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. So I'm starting a new series called Connoisseur Reviews. And this is just kind of like a favorites video when I find really interesting things, things that I think will um, interest and inspire you. And I'm going to have brutally honest reviews. Some of these things I bought for myself, some of these things were sent to me, but I think it's going to be a really great series um, that I will periodically publish throughout the year. Before we get into it, I would just like to share these names with you. These are the Chic Connoisseurs. They are the middle tier on my memberships platform, and this is one of the perks. They get their name in the scrolling credits on one video a month. So in my memberships, I do three vodcasts a month and one live stream, and it's all here on YouTube. You stay on the same platform. We have a really great time. I love the vodcast. Last week was a wild week on the blog, if you didn't know, on this channel. So I discussed all of that in length <laughs> in the vodcast, and you kind of get a more behind the scenes personal look into The Daily Connoisseur. So if you're interested in joining memberships, the lowest tier is the one that most people do, and it's only $1.99 a month. So I just wanna thank all of my members, and especially the Sheet Connoisseurs today. Thank you for helping to support this channel. Okay, let's get into the reviews. So, I have been searching for the perfect Earl Grey tea. I love Earl Grey, it could be my favorite tea. I've just been trying supermarket varieties and not impressed, it just is kind of stale to me. And I wanted something that was fresh and alive and I found a really good one to uh, recommend to you today. So this is called Vadem Teas and I found them myself. I think I just Googled best Earl Grey and I bought uh, this tea to try out for myself. So I have um, the Earl Grey Citrus and I also bought the Darjeeling, which is another black tea that I really like. And I can tell you it is so good. It's really fresh. And that bergamot in there and the citrus is absolutely delightful. So I'm having a cup of Earl Grey right now and it is truly a tea that comes alive. So I found this myself and I purchased it and it's called Vadim Teas and they do sell them on Amazon and they also have their own website. Um, I found it cheaper on their own website and that's actually where I purchased it. But I will leave both linked down below. Earl Grey Citrus Black Tea is a blend of the finest black teas from India mixed with a generous dose of premium bergamot oil. Um, so it's so good. The Darjeeling tea is more of a fruity, delicate, summery flavor and they are really fresh and delightful. So they've got so many thousands of five-star reviews on Amazon. I just wanted to share those with you if you are a tea connoisseur and you like really fresh teas. They have both the loose leaf and the bag tea and I've tried both and they're both excellent. Of course, the loose leaf is even better, uh, but the bagged is really good too. It's not stale at all. Okay, let's keep talking about teas here and I actually am gonna to talk to you about a green drink. This is quite funny. But first, um, this tea is called a skinny tea from Tea Me and I've been eyeing it. I do like their other black tea blend and I can't remember what the name is of it now, but I do like this tea brand and I bought this for my cousin for Christmas. So they have really great high quality fresh loose leaf teas and the way they do it is in the tumbler. So. Um, I have a few of these actually, but I have this pink one. So here's a skinny tea, and I am very wary of skinny anything. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like if you replace a tea like this, or even the Earl Grey or the Darjeeling with a soda that you normally have or a sugary coffee, then I can totally see how it's skinny. But the ingredients for the skinny tea are quite interesting. It has yerba mate, oolong tea, Jiao Gulam, lotus leaf, lime leaf extract, ginger root, and rhubarb root. And it does have caffeine in it. So the skinny properties that they say are the yerba mate, which has a lot of nutritional benefits, and that's where the caffeine comes from. Oolong tea, um, it has, that rises metabolism, right? And Jiao Gulan, which is a super herb, and it actually, helps your body balance outside stressors. So I have been drinking this as well, 
and I just have it plain. So I do like it and a little goes a long way. You just need one teaspoon, but when you want that kind of green tea flavor, but it has a kick of caffeine in it, it's really good. So there's that. Okay, now let's talk about green drinks. What do you think of green drinks? I would love to know because they're really popular right now. I've had this one for a few months actually, and this is the Teamy Greens uh, Superfood Blend. It has matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. And I tell you what, I do feel the caffeine from this as well. So I, I took it once at night and then I couldn't go to sleep. Now let me tell you about this. This is what it looks like, okay? And uh, yeah, it looks like some swamp water there. I'm going to be brutally honest. It tastes disgusting. I mean, <laughs> it's really gross. And I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. However, I feel that it's very potent and that it works really well. So when I was traveling, um, you know, back from England, it was like 24 hours of airport food and just French fries and a bad tummy. And oh, I just felt awful. So as soon as I got back home, we didn't have any groceries or anything like that. I made myself a tall glass of this when we got home and I just drank it really fast and I did feel better. And you really do feel something. You feel nutrients and I don't know, aliveness. I'm gonna take a little sip right now. Let's see. Yeah, it tastes really bad. I mean, it's not sweet at all. It tastes like you're drinking swamp water. <laughs> this is not a negative review. I'm just being honest with you, um, but it works. So, you know, not all things taste good. So I think that this is really good. If you find yourself um, not getting your vegetable intake for the day, or if you just want an extra boost. So there you go. Next item is such a fun item. So you know how I showed you the plush necessities spa robe uh, a few weeks back actually in the presentable sleepwear video. Well, I am showing you their signature plush robe today. They sent this to me because I guess a lot of people loved the spa robe that I recommended. So I tried this robe and it is even softer and more amazing. So if you like cozy, cozy, warm robes, this one is really good and it's really beautiful. I love it. I got it in the almond um, with the matching slippers. And so it's just a nice, um, high quality spa robe, you know, very generous in size. And also it's just amazing. So on these cold winter nights, I love wearing uh, the plush necessity spa robe. That is another good one. Uh, by the way, for some of these things, I have discount codes for you for some of the things that were sent to me. Okay, next, I know a lot of you will be very interested in this review. So this is that new brand that you're seeing everywhere. This is Love Home and Planet Concentrated Laundry Detergent in Rose Petal and Muru, Muru. Am I saying that right? I don't know. It's basically a rose laundry detergent, eco-friendly laundry detergent. You know me, I love laundry detergents that are natural and I try out so many of them. So here's the deal with this one. I find that it cleans really well. I just bought this for myself as a two pack over on Amazon. So it cleans really well um, and I love the scent. So it is a strong scent. It is very perfumey, kind of like a rose, but I love that. I love roses. So if you like a Bulgarian rose scent, you will like this, but if not, you probably won't. Maybe try the lavender one. It has an ethically sourced rose, plant-based cleaners, not tested on animals. Yep, it's pretty good, and it is suitable for HE washing machines. There's no parabens, dyes, phosphates, or optical brighteners. And it's blended with Amazonian Muru Muru and infused with a luxurious scent of hand-picked Bulgarian rose. So this is a good laundry detergent. I've been using it, and I have been enjoying it. Okay, so you know I like to clean with cloths around my home. I like to take down the paper towel intake. I don't think we need to use paper towels as much as we do. And so I have these uh, new specifically targeted uh, cloths for cleaning and they're from eCloth, which is the clean with just water brand. So one of them is the shower cleaning cloths. It's a two cloth set. And one of them is the range and stove top uh, cleaning cloths. Now here's what's interesting about them. Because it's kind of like the skinny tea where I'm thinking, do you really need a targeted cloth for a stove? You know, can't you just use a regular microfiber cloth? And yes, you can. But um, the technology on this one is quite interesting. So this is the stove cloth. I actually just cleaned my stove with it. <laughs> and it has these stripes and you can feel the texture on it. So it really gets, um, the grease and grime off without scratching it. So if that's important to you, it really, it clings to it. You know what I mean? So this is the general cleaning side 
and this side is uh, the side that removes stuff that's stuck on, which is really nice. And then this uh, rag that comes with it polishes it. The shower cloths are the same. This is uh, the cloth that gets all the soap scum off and all of that. And then this one is the glass cleaner that polishes it. And they both work really well. So if you like to collect these uh, cleaning cloths, then these targeted ones are really great. You don't have to have them. You could just use regular cloths. But I find that with showers and with stoves, you do have that specific kind of mess. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is hard to get off. So these definitely make it easier. I have Adele Natural Cosmetics. They make these wonderful um, all natural organic cosmetics. They sent me three of their newest eyeshadows. They sent me Frosting, which is a really great neutral color. I always do that first before I put any color, just as a base, and this is a good one. Um, and they also sent Charming, which is a deep purple, would be good for a smoky eye look. And I love purple because I have green eyes and I think it brings it out really well. And then they also sent uh, this black one, which can be used as an eyeliner. Now, I have hooded eyes and that doesn't work so well for me, but other people, <laughs> it might work better for you. So they sent me these um, shades and they're really great. I have a bunch of uh, promotions down below that I will leave for you. And now I would like to talk to you about three books that I am currently reading. <laughs> So the first one, this is one that I finished actually, and it's called Glorious Mothering by Sherry K. Hayes. And Sherry has a YouTube channel here uh, on YouTube and she talks about homeschooling. So she is a fellow homeschooling mom and I, I just love her. So if you homeschool, check out her videos, they're great. But she wrote this book called Glorious Mothering and it's just a great book for mothers. It is a faith-based book, so you have to know that before purchasing, but it's really good, and I just wanna say congratulations, Sherry, on the publication of your book. I really enjoyed it. The next book that I'd like to share with you is by Micah Meyer, and she is my good friend, and over on Instagram, you can find her as well, but she is an etiquette coach, an etiquette author, and she teaches um, at the Plaza Hotel's finishing program. So she has a book called Modern Etiquette Made Easy, and it is a beautiful book, just an essential guide, the type of book that every home library should have, you know? So congratulations, Micah. And then I talked about this book over on my memberships, and I will do a dedicated video to this book as well, but I'm also reading The Jane Austen Diet, which is a really good book with a lot of insight on how they ate during the Regency era and what we can take away from that as well. So those are all of the items that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you got some good recommendations. So there you have all of my reviews. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.